Let's take a look at plans and elevations. So we need to draw a plan, front elevation and side elevation of this shape. So a plan would be the bird's eye view. So if you're looking down, all you would see is this square here, this square here and this square here. So that would be in a straight line. So from above that shape would look like that. So that's the plan view. From the side, all you would see is this square here and this square here. So from the side, that's what it would look like. And from the front, all we would see is one, two, three, four. So that would be uh, three along the bottom and one on the top in the middle. So that would be the front. The plan of this from above, we would see one, two, three, four. So that would just be four squares in a line like so. From the side, we would just see two. So there would be the side view. And from the front, we would see one, two, three, four on the bottom and two on the top. And the two on the top would be um, on the right hand side like that. From above, we would see one, two, three, four, five squares in a um, sort of horseshoe shape. Um, the fact that this one's higher up doesn't make any difference at all. Um, so that would therefore look something like this. From the side, we would only see one, two, three. So that would be a sort of reverse L shape like so. And from the front, we would see one, two, three, four. So that would be three along the bottom and one on the top on the right hand side. So we need to draw the side view. So this is the side here. So it's five by seven. So let's just think about that. It's a, a square, sorry, a rectangle rather, which is five by seven and uh, five meters by seven meters. And each square on the grid is one uh, meter squared. So this isn't nice and easy actually. So all we need to do is do a five. Uh, is that, no, that's four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and there we have it. That is the side view. Now we need to do the front view. So the front view is 12 along the bottom. So 12 meters, so that would correspond to 12 squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Excuse the slightly wiggly line. Let me just double check I've got that right. Is that, did I do 12 there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 12, perfect. And on this side, it's five, and this side it's four. So this is a trapezium. So let's go up five from here. One, two, three, four, five. Up four here. One, two, three, four. And this is the bit that won't look terribly pretty on my graphics tablet. It's just joining these two up. Actually, not a bad effort at all there. There we go. So that is the, the front view there. Now we need to do the plan. So that is the view from above. So we are going to be seeing a rectangle, which is seven by 12. So all we need to do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's my seven and here's my 12, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and just join these up. Obviously using a ruler would be better. And question number five, we need to do the side view. Now, if we're looking at this from the side, we are going to see uh, it's gonna be a rectangle that is got a base of 10 and it's got a maximum height of six. So we just draw in a 10 by six re rectangle. So two, four, six high and two, four, six, eight, ten 10 across the bottom. So there is the side view, the front view, well, the front is a triangle, which has got a base of five, one, two, three, four, five. Now the triangle is marked at the back. It's got a height of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But the uh, the peak obviously is uh, well. It's a uh, well. It looks like it's an isosceles triangle. So we need to make sure that the this part here is exactly halfway between uh, this point and this point. And since it's five, then this needs to be two and a half across. So one, two, and a half. So it's going to go right there. And now all we need to do is join these two bits up again. With a pencil and ruler would be a lot easier. So that is the front view there. 
So it's five along the bottom and six um, for its height. And 5C, we need to do the plan view. So that's the view from above. So all it is, it's five by 10. So one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, eight, 10. However, it's not quite as simple as that because remember from above, we will notice the fact that we, that we have this ridge. So all we need to do is just draw in a straight line for the ridge that we would see from above, which would be exactly halfway between um, this length and this length. So as this is a distance of five centimeters, then at two and a half centimeters, I am going to draw in this line here, which would be just the ridge line of this toblerone packet, presumably. So there we have the plan view.